Hey guys, Mighty here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to block ads on Twitch. Now, this is something that's been highly requested. A lot of people have been asking me how to block ads on Twitch. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's go and open up the web browser here. I'm going to show you guys this for specifically Chromium based browsers, uh, you know, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, uh, you know, Brave, etc. So let's go to a Twitch stream. Let's say we go to Co Carnage. We've got an ad, right? The ad plays, we refresh the page, same thing, we'll probably get the ad. There you go. The ad plays yet again. It can't be stopped. All right. So, yeah, that's right. The ad can't be stopped unless, you know, we block it. So here's what we're going to do. So first things first, um, you're going to search up Chrome extensions. And I'm doing this on a virtual machine, but I have this on my main system, um, you know, outside the virtual machine, of course, because I do block ads on Twitch myself. Uh, but I feel like this is a great step-by-step -step guide uh, in doing so. Um, you're going to search the store for uBlock Origin. Um, it's located here under Recommended for You, but we can also just search it up here. Type in uBlock. Uh, as you can see, uBlock Origin pops up. It's got lots of reviews. Uh, this is definitely what we want to use. We click Get. We click Allow. And then Add Extension. And what uBlock Origin does is it effectively just blocks ads uh, this could be ads that are in the past broadcasts, or those could just be just any ads in general. It's kind of like an, a better ad blocker. So a lot of people, um, a lot of people like using uh, uBlock Origin. So we have that extension added. We'll just double check real quick to make sure that we do, and we'll uh, we'll pin it there to the top. As you can see, there it is. Extensions uBlock. We're gonna make it visible just like so. So we go up to the top right. We go to extensions. Our little puzzle piece jigsaw puzzle pops up. We see you block when make it visible. So there it is. And uh, it's currently running. So now that we've got you block origin, I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to type in Twitch ad block solutions. Now there's a GitHub that exists um, called GitHub pixel Tris Twitch ad solutions. It's basically a GitHub that contains a bunch of different ways to effectively block ads on Twitch. Uh, they talk about scripts, uh, you know, all sorts of recommendations and whatnot. What we're going to do is we're going to apply a script using uBlock Origin. So first thing it says to do is navigate to the uBlock Origin dashboard, the extension options. So we're going to do this first, right? So like up right up here, we have uBlock pinned. We're going to click on it. We're going to go to the settings page. Okay, open the dashboard. And I believe it said go to my filters, right? Uh, it says under the my filters tab. Okay, perfect. We're gonna add this in here the twitch videoed So just highlight that click Control C to copy it And then in here and you know, whichever area I'd probably just do it number one Paste it in there like so Control V or right click and do paste uh, Either or I right click and copy if you're uh, copying it that way or Control C and then Control V to paste it Click apply changes up here in the top left hand corner the next thing it says to do is go under the settings tab and enable I'm an advanced user and then modify the value of the user resources location from unset to the full URL of a script. Uh, in other words, they give an example for a uBlock origin JavaScript. Um, in this case, we're actually going to use a script from Vaft and we're going to use the permalink. And basically the permalink never updates. Uh, it's going to stay the same and it's probably the safest thing to do. It says for the sake of security, it's recommended to use a permalink when using uBlock Origin. Permalinks do not auto update. That's perfect. We're going to right click on this, click open link and new tab. So the uBlock permalink, as you can see, it's just a it's just a JavaScript, uh, you know, file that effectively blocks the ads. So you guys are more welcome to look through this if you want to make sure it's safe. Uh, but I use it all the time. So I've also checked that out as well. It looks just fine to me. Uh, and it does its job. So like they said, we'll go to uBlocks dashboard again. We'll go to settings. We'll go down to down here where it says advanced. We're going to click I am an advanced user. Click on that. Click on the little settings icon here, the little cog wheel. And then out at the very bottom, it says user resources location. We will highlight that and we will do control V. Or if you guys like right clicking and clicking paste, you can do that as well. Paste that in there like so and then click apply changes. Uh, it says warning, change these advanced settings at your own risk. And uh, you know, we're this is just fine. So we're not really messing with anything else. We're just basically uh, adding in a script for uh, uh, for blocking ads on Twitch. So we're gonna close out of that. We're gonna close out of uBlock dashboard. 
Close out of this, close out of Pixel Tris, Adblock Solutions. We're gonna close out of all this because we've basically done what we needed to do. And then what we're gonna do is just to ensure the script loads, you can close out of the web browser, reopen it, do what you need to do. Uh, I believe you could just turn it off and turn it back on doing this. Then do a refresh and then turn it back on. It's up to you. We have paid you to. But it's probably better to just completely close out of the web browser in general. Double check, make sure it's not over here in your taskbar. It doesn't look like it is. So we'll open it back up. And now we will go back to twitch.tv. And if we go to somebody say Co Carnage, his stream loads up just fine. Now it may it may do a few a loading it may load a few times, um, and the bit rate's gonna look pretty bad to start. Um, but the thing with this script is it certainly blocks the ads, um, but there's no other way to block the ads besides you know downgrading the stream quality to like 360 or 480p. Uh, that's just the side effect of of blocking the ad. But you can basically watch any stream you want and the ads will be blocked. As you see in the top left hand corner, it says blocking ads. We refresh this page and yet again, uh, it says blocking ads and the stream loads up just fine. Now it usually takes about 30 seconds or so uh, for these ads to effectively go away. And when that happens, the stream will kick to source quality. So it's gonna look bad at the start, but then once you give it like about 30 seconds or so, it'll kick to normal source quality and then you'll be able to experience these streams, uh, you know, at their full source quality. Any stream, really, uh, for that matter. Um, and yeah, this is a, an extension I use all the time. It works well. Um, if you're looking for another simpler option, you can always go over to the uh, to the Chrome extension store. I know there's a extension out there. I, I, I've used it in the past. I don't really care for it as much, uh, but I mean, your guys' mileage may vary. It is up to you if you want to use it. It's called Stream Cleaner. Um, and, and it says that it helps you block Twitch ads, but again, your mileage may vary with this. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've used it a few times and I just don't really care for it. Um, some people say it works. Some people says, you know, that there something's been blocked containing malware and that it's working and didn't seem to block ads. So again, yeah, your mileage may vary. I wouldn't recommend stream cleaner, but uh, you're more than welcome to do your own research into this and see if that does the trick for you. Again, you just basically click get, it adds the extension up here and then it, you could just enable it just with one click of the button. Um, again, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to try it out, you think it works uh, you're more than welcome to i just like i said the first option for me works very well and now as you can see the ads have been blocked and yeah the streams in source quality so anyways there you go i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you guys want a tutorial on how to block ads on mobile oh trust me there there are ways to do it and i do it all the time so feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to see that as always don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.